Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Fallon and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast and I'm giving you this forecast from the wonderful oasis near Tsukim in Israel in the Israeli desert called Yemei Midbar, Desert Days and we are having an astrological workshop here with two of the world's best astrologers Darling Gunsberg and Bernadette Brady about visual astrology, really looking at the stars and picking your information straight from the heavens an important knowledge that was vastly lost and I'm so happy and honored to take part in this, uh, in this uh, workshop that we're going to be having and learning from these two wonderful astrologers. So, we're talking about Sunday, February 28th, 2016. The moon is in Scorpio, it's trining Neptune and it's giving from its power to the already very powerful Sun-Neptune conjunction. These are days with a lot of fantasy, a lot of imagination and we could really feel just out, totally out, you know, not concentrated, forgetting things, getting confused. Don't be too harsh with yourselves regarding that. And really harness this energy for creative efforts in your life. All this imagination, all this fantasy could work for you. There's a trine to Neptune, as I said, and then there's a trine to Ceres. And that could bring a lot of feeling of abundance in your life, and that's great. But then, by 1400 hours Central European time, that's around 800 hours Eastern Standard Time, there's going to be a square to Venus, and this is a time we could feel a little less satisfied in general, and our relationships in particular. So watch out for that. After that, at around 2100 hours Central European Time, it's around 1500 hours Eastern Standard Time, we're going to have a sextile to Pluto, really powerful and, and carnal evening. That's a great evening, Sunday evening, to enjoy it with your spouse or enjoy it with your lover. The um, Mercury in the sky is sextiling Uranus, uh, a lot of uh, innovative and outside the box thinking, new ideas, new information that is coming our way and really we're getting exposed to new, new things and we need to adapt, be adaptive and incorporate them in our lives. There's a Queen Kong to Jupiter, between Jupiter and Mercury as well, and that could give us the feeling like we're not doing enough, like we're not getting all our chores done, like we're not crossing our V's in, in the proper order. And don't be too harsh with yourself regarding that, and remember we have to do one thing at a time, and pay attention and enjoy it. Like Francis of Assisi used to say, do a few things, but do them well, take your time, go slowly. <laughs> and it's also about prioritizing and understanding we cannot spend too much time and efforts on other people in our environments. We need to get what we need to do done first. So, thank you for listening. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.